Essentially, we've been collaborating for most of our lives in various forms through our childhood, you know. But it was really the comic books that I think we were able to both kind of bring something to the table and kind of find each other's strengths and find a, a really a groove in collaborating. Having grown up as brothers, we also have a real connected sensibility, uh, you know, a lot of similar influences in the, in the types of work that we love and have looked at and learned from. We grew up reading Tintin and you know, all kinds of great classic comics, but we loved the idea of doing a 21st century Tintin. You know, those books were just very mm -hmm. classic storybook characters and we wanted to take the spirit of those international adventures but put them into a contemporary character that was dealing with contemporary issues. Really, you know, we wanted to do a great adventure book but also something that felt really connected to our time. And so that is ultimately what The Dissident is. It was originally published as Triple X by Dark Horse Comics. We wanted to tell the story about a young American dissident who escapes to Amsterdam only to discover that there's really nowhere you can run from the justice. We kind of came into it when indie comics were really fresh and new. And we'd, we'd had a couple of books that had done well uh, in comics and we were just starting to do uh, projects with Dark Horse Comics and so we, we really leveraged our, pretty much our reputation to do this big epic tale. You know, we traveled to Europe, we lived there, we sort of embedded ourselves in that culture and, and wrote and drew the story. The publisher, they wanted to make some economic compromises, one of which being sort of taking out the color, uh, which was a big part of the vision uh, that we had. All our books had, for the most part, been in color up till then, so the thought of our, our, our biggest, most ambitious project not being colored was kind of a, a devastating thought, but we had to sort of cross that bridge and, and make that compromise. Not long ago, we were looking through our old files and we came across the original proposal and there it was and it was like, you know, put in this little document and typed out, it said the dissident. And we were like, oh my God, you know, that's really what we gotta do. We gotta resurrect this project um, and see it through creatively to the place that we originally intended it to be. And so about a year ago, we actually did a fundraising campaign on Kickstarter to color the dissident. It's a huge project. It's like 336 pages long. So, you know, it was something that we've been wanting to do, but was a little bit daunting. But we successfully raised the funds through the Kickstarter and essentially over the last year have been diligently plowing through all of the pages um, and recoloring them but also really revisiting them. And one of the things that we kind of discovered as we went was, um, you know, areas that could be cleaned up and, and refined and really remastered. As we dug into it, it kind of became an even bigger project for us. You know, we actually discovered a lot of funk and grit on, on the original scans that were never really caught originally. And so we've been going through cleaning that up. We're working a lot with flat colors, minimal gradients, um, just giving it a really clean look. Uh, the city of Amsterdam has got a particular color and a particular feel, uh, so we really wanted to capture that. The interesting thing about working with this antique is it allowed us to share the artwork in a very different way, um, you know, versus like trading a page back and forth. We were able to share these files back and forth. And what we discovered that is that it actually intensified the collaborative process between us because we were able to really start working and building on each other's drawings in a far more um, organic and, and connected way uh, working in the digital space. One of the things we're really excited about doing, you know, because we're in such a particular location, we thought, you know, why don't we do something where we can actually uh, launch people via Google Maps into the actual streets where this adventure takes place. And so what we're going to be doing is as certain locations arrive in the book, we're going to create hot links to the street view of those particular scenes. And so in a way, it's, it's going to have this kind of strange uh, travel log vibe to it where you can actually kind of explore Amsterdam as you're reading the story and kind of see these historical places and streets that these scenes play out in. 
Kind of in keeping with the theme of the character who's really a young citizen journalist, we thought, why don't we just have a, a website that's actually like a newspaper, a daily newspaper? So we came up with the concept of the Dissident Daily and the idea of re uh, releasing one page a day. So starting January 1st, 2017, we're going to premiere the prequel opt out on the dissidentdaily.com and throughout 2017 we'll be releasing a page a day of the dissident for all to see. In a lot of ways the dissident is um, is us, you know, it's it's our um, you know, it's our journey and it's really where we were able to kind of have our our own adventure in life and bring it to bear um, in this medium that we've been uh, really thriving in. And now we're looking forward to bringing it back to life for a new generation.